Some was asking if the new uh, Poundland warm white version of the LED GU10 lamp uh, is supposed to actually put out more lumens, uh, does it have a different power supply? I'm not convinced it will have a different power supply, and I'm not even convinced it's that brighter than uh, uh, the cold white. If anything, it might be slightly dimmer, which would be in keeping with the uh, efficiencies of these things. But uh, let's open it up and take a wee look inside anyway and see if uh, it does contain a different power supply. If you recall, the the cold white one had the passive power supply. It wasn't based around a chip or anything like that. It was just based around a discrete transistor. Uh, I did a complete teardown of that one. So, uh, first thing to note is the wires are sticking right through. They've not bothered shoving them down, which is no great deal. I suppose it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, heat sink compound is everywhere, notably just at one side. Oh, that's a bit messy. Uh, uh. Given my success with just actually just gluing these circuit boards into the back with silicon, uh, and then uh, just having the bare chips out of the lenses uh, that look great with the glitter lamps so I might actually do that with this one as well it's going to take a bit of cleaning up by the look of it, it's very gunky the power supply inside looks to be the same, it's got the it's got the one rectifier diode, is that? yes it is, it's uh, the one rectifier diode, the smoothing capacitor 2.2 meg fired, 400 volt, and then just the little transistor um, as the oscillator. It's very, very simple circuit. Really not a lot in that at all. That is such a surprise, that circuit. Oh, but actually, it's got the wee tiny um, uh, surface mount uh, transistor down there. I think that's pretty much the same power supply as the other one. So uh, the answer is, yes, it's got the same power supply, and I think their intensity figures may just be made up slightly. But having said that, it's still quite a nice lamp.